All right, so let's look at this problem. It says find the molarity of a solution that has 25.5 grams of KBr dissolved in 1.75 liters of solution. So like we do every problem, what am I looking for? The molarity, big M, okay? I'm looking for the molarity, and I know that that's the unit. Big M is the unit, and it's the name. So you could write molarity if you want, and you could say, I'm looking for the molarity, and that's big M, in M, or whatever. What do they give me? So they gave me 25.5 grams of KBr, and 1.75 liters of my solution. And a lot of times you'll see solution is shortened like this. Just a shortened way of writing a solution. All right, so I'm looking for the molarity. So I have to understand what molarity is. So what is molarity? So big M is moles of my solute over liters of my solution. So I have to know that. So now I have to figure out, well, what is the solute? So the solute is the thing that I'm going to add in that's gonna change state. So what's changing state, what's being added in? The KBR, the KBR is gonna get dissolved. So it's a solid, because I'm weighing it out in grams, so it's a solid, and it's gonna get dissolved. So that means it's changing state. So the KBR is my solute, okay? And the other thing is the solution, because it said that. So I need the KBR, not in grams, but in moles. So if I have 25.5 grams of KBR, I don't want grams, I want moles. So I can go from grams of KBR to moles of KBR. How do I go from grams to moles? Periodic table, so find the mass of uh, potassium, find the mass of bromine, add it up, and you get 119, top or bottom, bottom. And this should be old hat for you at this point. You should be really used to doing this from the very beginning of the semester. You don't want to round too early because you know you're about to use it up here in this math. So now I have the moles of my solute. Then the next thing they wanted was liters of solution. So they gave it to me, liters in solution. Sometimes they might give it to me in milliliters and then I'll have to convert. But this one they gave me straight up in liters, so all I have to do is just plug it in. Moles of my solute, liters of my solution. I just do top divided by bottom, and I get 0 0.122. And you can either write moles over liters, but most of the time we just write big M, because big N stands for molarity. So 0.122 molarity. All right, so that's finding the molarity. But what if I have the molarity what if I have one of the, the molarity, and I want one of the parts? How can I use molarity as a conversion? Kind of similar to like what we did with density. So if I had the density, I could use the density to find one of the pieces, okay? So on the next lecture, we're gonna talk about using molarity as a conversion factor.